All right, this is just gonna be a quick video showing how to wire a 19 millimeter or a 22 millimeter ring light switch. You can get these LED switches on eBay. Uh, they're only a few bucks, they look pretty cool. Um, but they don't come with any instructions on how to hook them up. And uh, this one has six pins. Most of them that I've seen have six pins and I couldn't find any tutorials on how to set those up. Uh, so I decided to do one. I did finally find a diagram on how to wire that and I will link that in the description. So what I have is this, uh, this switch turning on that LED up there. Um, but you can have it turn on anything like a fan or fog lights, whatever. You will need uh, a relay to do this. Um, this switch can only handle, I think, like two or three amps, anything more than that, and you'll burn the switch up. Um, so you have to have a relay, so I'm gonna show you how to wire it with that. Uh, so, starting with the relay, 30 goes to your battery, 86 goes to ground, 87 goes to the positive on your fan or your fog lights or your switch or whatever you're running, and then 85 is going to be linked up in with the LED switch. Now, this LED, it can power like a single LED by itself without a relay, but that's about it. Anything else, you're going to need uh, a relay. All right, so on the switch itself, um, you're gonna see labels on it, uh, starting from left to right here, and it's upside down. It's four, two, one, and three. So, starting with number four, which is this guy, that's going to go to your switched power, uh, like ACC accessory power. So any 12 volt power source uh, will do, uh, but you'll probably wanna wire it on to one that has power when your key is on. Um, but anyway, that's your 12 volt power source. This bottom pin right here, the one with the connector on it, so I'm gonna disconnect it. This guy right here, this one right in the middle, that's your ground for the switch. Uh, that needs to go to, you know, just a body ground or whatever. All right, so to activate your switch, you're gonna take a wire from number three, and then this top one right there, wire those together, and those two will go into number 85 on your relay. So once all that's wired in, it'll activate your relay whenever you press the switch and then the light will be on. It's hard to tell because I have it really bright right now. But that'll activate your light. All right, so just for a quick recap, four goes to a positive, the bottom port in the middle goes to the ground, connect two wires together for number three and then the top pin, and then those go to number 85 on your, your relay, and that will get, your, get everything working. So once you have all that wired up, hit your switch, and it activates your relay, which activates my LED. Um, but what this is going to be doing is a fan, so I'm gonna show you how to wire it up with a Volvo uh, fan relay as well. Um, oh, and just a note, if you're looking at buying these buttons, this one is a 19 millimeter, uh, and then this one is a 22 millimeter. There's actually a pretty big size difference. I definitely recommend getting the bigger one, because, uh, let's see, I had originally ordered, I think, the 16 millimeter, and they're tiny. So I think that was the 16, might have been 14, I don't know. Whatever it was, um, it looked a lot bigger in the picture. So, I mean, that's the, I mean, look at the size of my finger. Like I can barely even press that. But um, this is a 19 and then this guy is a 22 and that's, this one's a momentary. So you can use this as like a start button or a horn or whatever. And I'll show you real quick uh, what the blue one looks like. Oh, and real quick, just a, a warning here. When you're wiring up one of these six pin switches, uh, latch switches, never connect positive and negative to the top and bottom terminals. It will short your switch out and it will be broken forever. Ask me how I know. Uh, anyway. So anyway, that's how you wire up one of these uh, six prong switches um, to work. But uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to wire it up with the uh, um, Volvo relay as well because I'm gonna be using this switch uh, to power a fan. All right, and then to have this switch work with a big Volvo relay like, uh, like this one. Off-road guys will be really familiar with this relay and, uh, and fan. It's a super high CFM fan out of like a, a like 90s, late 90s Volvo, and uh, they move a ton of air. The problem though is the Volvo is activated by a ground. So if you want the switch to light up, but still activate 
the, the Volvo relays, you need to use a regular 30 amp relay to reverse the polarity. So switch on, LEDs on, ring lights on, I mean, and, uh, and we're lighting up my little LED here. You can hear both of the relays clicking when I switch it on and off. But yeah, I'll put in a diagram for this, how this works. The, uh, the wiring on the switch didn't change, so that was the same. Uh, but we run the trigger into 86 on the relay, uh, 30 and 85 get grounded, and then 87 goes to the ground uh, to activate that relay. But uh, I'll put both of those diagrams uh, in the video description link, and, uh, and you can wire all that stuff up. So I hope that helps anybody that's uh, trying to make these little LED lights work in their car. Good luck. Oh, and I got a bunch more videos in production right now as well. We're gonna be changing the, uh, the clutch on the DSM. We're gonna be putting a GPS tracker in it and, uh, and a bunch more stuff, so stay tuned for that.